um, liberals kind of trying to play gotcha with Jimmy Dore and the force the vote movement in general, um, kind of being like, well, look at this. I thought you guys wanted the fucking Medicare for all, but but now you're not even happy about the fact that it's getting introduced and like all this gotcha bullshit where it's like, what if you really supported force the vote? Then is it that hard to believe that the people that supported force the vote too were you know genuine in their um, like desire and, and their wish uh, for Medicare for all. It, it just seems it just seems sus and weird to to. No, this is like be- a John Favreau take. This is a Pod Save America <laughs> take. Like you know right. what I mean? And and it's weird because like I like I like I, I don't know. It, it's like I don't want to dunk on this guy too hard because I don't know anything about him. But it seems like the kind of guy who you know, this seems like the kind of point you would make if you got off of the phone with somebody who was like a really good debater and you yourself aren't that good of a debater, and they're like. See, dude, you just made yourself look like a total idiot. You got exactly what you wanted. You won't even fess up to it. And you're all like shook, like, oh, my God, I've just been argued into a black hole because I don't know what I'm actually arguing. And then you're like, see, guys, egg on my face, too. I'm not judging anyone. Like, we all look like dummies. And then it's like, no, bro, just you because you can't argue. You don't know why you were arguing what you were arguing, apparently. Mm -hmm. And, um, yeah, then Jimmy Dora takes him to school. Right, right. And for anyone that's, you know, maybe listening and not watching, Dole oh, yes, says here, uh, the whole point of hashtag force the vote was to get Democrats to commit to introducing the Medicare for all bill. And 112 Democrats did just that. Hilarious to see many hashtag force the vote supporters. By the way, I was one of them not even realize what the aim of their strategy was. You should be happy. So basically just like, why are you, why are you guys still complaining about this? this he, he, he outs himself as not understanding the entirety <laughs> yeah. of force the vote immediately when he says Democrats to commit to introducing. It's literally called force the vote. Yeah. Not like, not like, you know, lick your and finger here- and fucking put it in the wind. Like, you know what I mean? Exactly, exactly. And here comes, obviously, Mr. Jimmy Dore with his response. He says, no, actually, the whole for- the whole point of force the vote was to get a guarantee that Medicare for all would be brought up for a vote, not that it would just be introduced and then not voted on. Uh, they now have zero leverage to get it voted on. Thanks for your support. But it seems that you missed the point, which generally, you know, from my understanding of this whole situation is exactly correct. Just because Jaya Paul has introduced or reintroduced honestly this was remarkably polite for jimmy Dore. <laughs> <laughs> that's fair that's fair uh may- maybe he's trying to take him in good faith here because he did say he was a supporter of force the vote so maybe he's trying not to be too savage but like, again thanks, bro, from bro. what i from what i can understand of the situation jimmy Dore is very correct here in the sense that you know just because this bill has been reintroduced which i guess is better than nothing right uh it, it's still not necessarily going to get brought up for a vote and that was the whole reason it's actually it's why, explicitly not going to get up for yeah, a vote. yeah again and and that was his point with force the vote was unless you threaten their power uh, or their standing in washington um then they're never going to capitulate to you and we've said this a million times regardless of what you think of jimmy Dore, that is an undeniable truth um, I think that's just obvious. And if you can deny that after watching the pattern of behavior from the Democratic leadership, then you're just either not paying attention or you don't really care that much. Um, and again, it's it's ultimately just performative, essentially, what has happened with um, the reintroduction of the Medicare for all bill, because it won't get voted on. Uh, so the whole point was that if we threaten Pelosi and and make her realize uh, you know, the presence of these progressives in Congress and their differences politically, um, then she might actually have to capitulate because she would worry that, you know, a, I mean, obviously she wouldn't actually have lost the speakership. That was out of the question, but it would have been a media nightmare to deal with. She would have had to explain why, you know, they didn't want to do Medicare for all. It would have been a whole kerfuffle that she wouldn't have wanted to to deal with, but it would have been beneficial for the Medicare for all movement. What's going on now uh, that David Dole, you know, says you should be happy to see is like I said, it's performative and it's not actually going to accomplish anything. Yeah, it's the pageantry of the progressive left, exactly. And it's to go ahead and try and cover their own asses to their base, the people who actually want this shit while they've instead curry favor with their fucking, you know, and uh, and, 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 and one out with the fucking uh, Medicare for all leaders, right? So it's like, you know, instead of doing what we wanted, AOC and every Jamal Bowman, who else ever, right? wanted a force the vote you know we wanted them to withhold their vote for nancy pelosi we've litigated this a million times but they instead what they did was they nuzzled up to nancy pelosi and they moved away from the progressive base the people that are actually in need of health care the people who are actually you know need to find out if these people are for real or not uh which is you know like how many like hundred some odd people theoretically support medicare Mm -hmm. for all uh congress 
um, there's a reason they don't want to actually vote on it because then they can no longer run on it because they know it's popular. Exactly. Exactly. And, and now they have to convince their base that they're going to do it. And it's like just taking some time and like, don't worry. And, and it's probably something that they're going to try and sell to everybody in the midterms because everybody uh, in the house is going to be up for reelection and you know, all this kind of shit. Exactly. And, um, Dole here kind of tries to cover his ass. He says, indeed. Oh, chill. I, I, I clarified this in my following tweet. Um, but dim leadership blocking a four vote on Medicare for all when it has 112 co-sponsors is as big of a deal. No, it's fucking not as it going to the floor and losing. The latter actually has the potential to negatively impact the fight for blah, 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 blah. bullshit, bro. You know, that's fucking bullshit. Uh, it losing on the floor would not be a bad thing for the movement. It would raise a ton of media attention. It would allow the squad, for example, to go out on TV and make the case again for why we need Medicare for all and to make the case against the senators who uh, do not agree. Um, it would be, it would, you know, like I said, it forced the vote was just as much as about forcing the conversation, uh, at least to me. You know, I thought that was really half the value in it. And here, you know, this is not raising any sort of a conversation because, again, there's no conflict between power here. It's just, you know, they're introducing a bill basically to virtue signal um, to people like David Dole on Twitter, uh, you know, and then and then and then they're going to let it just die and nothing ever is going to happen again. Um, it's not really sustaining the activist momentum. It's just kind of capi or it's just kind of trying to appease uh, liberals that want to, you know, see them, quote unquote, fight without actually fighting. Um, and, and Justin Jackson comes in here pretty, pretty good. I, I thought this was a good response. He says, come on, bro. Yeah. So getting a floor vote on Medicare for all will negatively impact the Medicare for all fight, but it never getting brought up to a vote in the next decade won't. Any excuse for leverage not to be used as we watch our system collapse in real time, which again, coming in with that savagery that Jimmy Dore didn't even come at him with. This was a pretty savage tweet. And it's funny too, that it got way, way, way more likes and retweets and stuff than this David Dole tweet, which got like a measly 67. So if you're paying attention to the scoreboard, uh, Justin Jackson with another fucking, I guess, touchdown would be the right analogy. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Also, um, shout out to Laura Fielding. This is funny, too. Yeah. Um, yeah, this was just a bad take, right? It's, it's It was another capitulation of the squad in order to kind of, um, you know, and any of the other, you know, progressive uh, politicians who you know, are trying to pa pass this on as any kind of a victory, right? Um, so, yeah, uh, I mean, this is kind of what we've come to expect, but it, I mean, it's always irritating to, yeah. I mean, see it. And, and yeah, that was Brianna, just a bad take by the national, it, it really was. national guy. Yeah. It really was. I imagine he's like, he's he's kind of kicking himself for such a <laughs> dumbass take. But yeah, here's Brianna. I didn't realize this, but Brianna Joy Gray got in on this too. She said in her recent inter interview with Intercepted, Jaya Paul argues that the 2019 hearings are why they were able to get more co-sponsors, um, which is one of the aspects of Force the Vote that I already I always emphasized was the ability to demand hearings. So damn, this he got dogpiled by like based leftist progressives. Like I can't imagine putting yeah. out a tweet and getting fucking scolded by the likes of Justin Jackson and Brianna Joy Gray. That's crazy. And Jimmy uh, Dore all at once. <laughs> Jimmy Dore. Yeah. So he uh he uh I don't know what he's doing right now. Probably took a break from Twitter for a week or two. That's probably <laughs> what I would have done. <laughs> <You know? laughs>